Okay, so this is probably the last video about MIDI and OSC. Uh, basically, we have this uh, sketch that I just made, and instead of just responding to some arbitrary message, I'm going to respond to a real message that's going to come from a Wiimote. So the way that you uh, deal with a Wiimote is to use Osculator. This is, you can download a demo of this. Go to the Wiimote tab, and it's very easy. You just hit Start Discovery and you, on the Wiimote, press these two buttons at once and that should pair this Wiimote with this computer. And there it is. The battery level shows that it's at 100%. It shows me the address of the Wiimote and uh, lets me choose which capabilities I want to be able to um, hear from the, from the Wiimote. So one of them is uh, the accelerometer is already um, receiving messages and you can see here they correspond to these X, Y, and Z axes. Uh, so if I twist it and, and everything, these basically these um, uh, are being sent over as uh, OSC messages. If I hit quick look, I can kind of get an idea of what those numbers look like. Maximum number is one. This is what it's at right now. There's the minimum zero. So this is showing me what uh, the message looks like as it comes over. And in uh, processing, I can handle that message. The other thing I can do is uh, I can press buttons, pressing button one, button two, kind of looks like my example that I already had where uh, it's just called button A. So I'll actually just copy this to the clipboard and I think I can probably just paste it, yeah. So this handles button uh, one and I can say anytime someone presses button one, uh, it should um, call this function. and. You know, I'm honestly, I'm not sure how to tell from here uh, what type of data. Oh, okay. So we can see that when I press button one, a message comes over that's either one or zero. So what that's doing for me is telling me that in here, the argument is going to be in uh, a number. So I think I can just say some uh, number on off and maybe I can just tack that on here so I can see that number as it comes over. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's see. So I'm pressing button one and uh, nothing's happening. The reason why is because it's trying to listen on port 12,000 and you can see that OSP, uh, OS, the OSC in port. So basically, you know, my sketch is receiving messages on port 12,000. Osculator is a different program. It's receiving its messages on port 8000. Um, so it has the capability to both send and receive messages just like my program does. Uh, I, I think the easiest way, uh, let's see, I think the easiest way to do this is to say anytime this message comes in or, um, yeah, so anytime we have this message because someone pressed a button on the Wiimote, I can tell it to uh, route that message to a new port, which would be port 12,000. So uh, I can basically, if I look down here in processing, I will see that it's actually running uh, on this IP address at port 12,000. So if I just plug that in here, my IP address at port 12,000, basically anytime this message comes in, it will get routed to port 12,000 on this computer. So let's try this again. I'll try running it now and press button one and you can see that it's receiving a message because uh, someone pressed button A is happening. I hold down the button, it shows a one. I let go of the button, it shows a zero. So that's the simplest. The next step, of course, would be to get this to respond to um, like these other possible messages that the Wiimote can do, which are the accelerometer. Uh, it also has capabilities to um, do like some tracking of infrared lights and other capabilities. Uh, you can also find some other OSC messages to um, to receive. Like uh, I've, there's uh, some iPhone programs that will send OSC messages based on multi-touch or pressing of buttons. And you can also just send messages from another program, like from Max MSP or a different processing sketch. So uh, let's give it a try.